Good morning, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 7.0. And today is day 47. So today we're going to dive into the consumer applet and begin talking about things like agent sites, landing pages, uh, the guide builder, some of the amazing things that we can do inside of agent sites. And we're going to build out the basics of your actual agent site using a what we call a Kelly guide. So let's jump in. Consumer is the very last applet here at the bottom. We're going to click on consumer. And when we do, you should see four tabs along the very top. So that is agent site pages, landing pages, guide builder, and collections. And we'll have a challenge video on each one of these. But loosely, agent site pages, every agent does get their own slice of the World Wide Web when they join Keller Williams. Um, you have what's called a subdomain on the kw.com domain. So essentially, you get to choose what that URL looks like. Uh, so for example, mine was very creative, martymiller.kw.com. You have the ability to kind of customize that, and we'll show you that here in the guide. Uh, landing pages, think about these as single, single, really small slices of the World Wide Web, if you will. Uh, great for things like open house sign-ins or featuring a specific listing. We'll go through a challenge on creating got landing pages as well. Uh, we've got a guide builder which connects to our consumer app kind of walks first time home buyers and sellers through the process of what they can expect throughout that and then collections is the ability for you to uh, identify properties that might be a good fit for your client based upon a variety of needs next up you've got site and app settings so this is a very important uh, site that's going to lead you to several additional tabs which we'll go through in a second as well and then, of course, inside of command, anytime you want to create something new, you're going to have a big blue button at the top. And we're on the agent site pages tab. So that would indicate that you wanted to create a new agent site. Now, typically, if this is your first time logging in and going to the consumer tab, you're going to see a bar here that says configure your site. Now, I've already done this in a previous training. And so that's why mine shows that it is configured. However, if yours shows configured and you still want to go through this guide, you can go into the site and app settings button and then click on learn more with Kelly guides. That's going to take you to a page that looks like this. And we're going to go ahead and walk through what that guide is with regards to you as an agent setting up your agent site. So the first step is to click on get started and you're going to see some compliance reminders with regards to your agent sites and what they need to include, what it needs to look like. Um, also making sure that you have your Market Center brokerage logo. There's even a link here to the marketing site where you can get your actual Market Center brokerage logo. Once you acknowledge and continue, you're getting taken into the first step, which is to choose your actual subdomain. So again, the domain is .kw.com, but you get to decide what comes before that. Um, so you can be creative if you want to put your name. Obviously, that's pretty easy to remember. But I've had people that have done geographic or uh, kind of real estate based things. So <clears throat> uh, luxury homes in Katy, Texas .kw.com might be an example. Um, you do have a 30 maximum character length and you can't have any spaces or special characters. Um, do know that if you have already uh, selected your subdomain and you change it, the old domain is up for grabs. Um, so luckily no one was creative enough to choose martymiller.kw.com. So I have that. This test account, we've actually selected martymiller2.kw.com. But this is essentially where you would go in and select what that subdomain is. The next step is to identify your marketing profile information. Again, this is being pulled in from your marketing profile, but you do want to verify that everything looks correct. In this test account, our first name is Keller Williams Premier. Our last name is Leadership Team. And we have all of our brokerage information listed as well. Anything with an asterisk does need to be filled out. So if you don't have a team or business name, that's okay. You can leave that blank. But then going through and making sure that everything else has been completely filled out. Now, if your biography has not been filled out previously, you are going to want to write some sort of biography about yourself. <clears throat> um, you know, ways that people can connect with you maybe your background, what you've done before real estate, if you're in real estate and have had closed transactions, what those numbers look like, et cetera. Then you're gonna get into your agent license number, compliance and legal footer, market center brokerage license number, the office phone number, 
and then your compliance and legal footer link and footer images. Each market center, office, area, et cetera, has different brokerage requirements. So please check with your local market center tech trainer, team leader, operating partner, just to make sure that you are in compliance with regards to what's expected in your specific uh, MLS state, et cetera. In addition, you've got some imagery. So you want to have a profile picture available. You can upload that. You've got a market center brokerage logo. You can upload that and then a team or header team header logo. And we talked to you yesterday about uploading that uh, blank PNG, or I think that was day 45. We talked about uploading the blank PNG. Um, in addition, if you have any social media links, you can include all of those. And then your KW app link should be included as well. Once you've got all of that filled out, we're going to click on save and continue. And we have now selected our subdomain and filled out our entire marketing profile. The next thing we're going to do is go into style and theme. So you can change between the red theme or the dark theme. I haven't noticed a massive change in this just as a heads up. So I wouldn't stress too much about the difference between the two. Next up, you've got your homepage text. So this is also known as your hero text. Um, essentially, you see it here, find your dream home. Um, I'm in Katy, Texas, so it might be find your dream home. Oops, spell it right. Home in Katy, Texas, something along those lines, right? Um, that's where I specialized. And so I would imagine the majority of my contacts and consumers will be going to my site to look up property in Katy. But again, if your site is luxury homes in Katy, Texas .com, maybe you change your homepage text to say something about luxury homes, etc. Next up, you've got your hero images, which is basically this background photo behind the search bar. And you've got five that are already loaded for you. However, you can come in and remove any one or all five of those by just clicking on the trash can and then choosing to upload your own hero images. You can see what the details are here. Essentially, you're going to want those to be 1200 by 1200 JPEG or PNG style format and they will show up in the background here behind the search bar. Those are your homepage hero images. <clears throat> Again, always just make sure you're using appropriate images. Um, I had one of my photographers last time I had a listing come out and take some aerials. Those were great photos to use for my background images. Um, if you're already in photography or whatever, you could take some of your own pretty easily as well. So we're gonna click on save and continue there. And then finally, we're gonna get taken to the content. So each one of your sites is going to come with three sub pages and you can see those here on the right hand side. So if you click on navigation, you'll see that the three pages are company profile about me and contact us. So each one of those pages, as you click on them, will offer you the ability to fill out SEO information or search engine optimization. Remember that the page title is what's going to show up in this drop down. So if you wanted to not say company profile, but something along the lines of <coughs> meet Summit Property Group, right? You could do that and have that be the page. Next up, you've got the URL slug. So that's going to be the actual uh, end of the domain here. So martymiller.kw.com backslash what for this specific page. So you would basically put in what that is. So in this case, it might be uh, summit dash property dash group, something along those lines, right? Remember, you don't have to make changes to this if you don't want to. You can leave it as it is. Uh, you can always come back and edit it later. Uh, as far as content goes, this is where you would fill out everything that's going to show on this page. So you've got a quick description of your business. That's going to show up right here. Then you've got section headlines for two separate sections. So you've got the section headline, which is right here the paragraph, which will show right here, and then you can upload a photo. And then you've got the same for the second. So you can choose to have that information there as well. Now, if you don't want to have a company page, you can skip it. So you can choose to skip it. We won't actually have that page show up. Next up, you've got the about me. So again, this is the about me section and you've got the SEO person here. You may want to change it from about me to uh, meet Marty Miller, something along those lines, right? Just remember that page title is what's going to show up in that navigation bar for you. 
You can also change the URL slug and then type in the SEO description. And then the content about this page is being pulled in from your marketing profile. So you can see it's got the bio title, it's got the title, your page title, your actual bio, and then all your contact information at the bottom. Finally, there's a third page, which is the contact us page. So this is where you could put in the search engine optimization information and the content. Guys, it is important that you uh, take note of this intro paragraph. If you don't make changes to this, this is actually what will show up. So, um, uh, we're looking forward to connecting with you soon. Something along those lines, right? And then you can click on save and continue. Remember, you can change the message hint. You can change your phone number and email. You cannot change the capture form. So there's no way to add additional blanks here just as a heads up. We click on save and continue on the last step. <clears throat> and then it tells us, okay, what's next? So you've got more information from here where you could get more answers at the answers.kw.com page. You can go to your site settings or you can continue to go to sites creators. So we're gonna to go to site settings from here. And now you will see on the agent site pages that we have now created two actual agent sites. So these are agent site pages, not agent sites, excuse me, two agent site pages. We didn't, con uh, we didn't create the company profile because remember we skipped that one. So now you see that we have two pages and if you didn't have your bio ready or maybe you wanted a different headshot, Anytime you want to make changes to these pages, you can always do that by clicking on the three little dots and then clicking on edit. And it'll take you in to that actual editor where you can make changes. And we'll go through this further when we go into the actual agent site pages editing ability. So stay tuned for that in a couple of days. Uh, but that's pretty much it. I wanted to start off with you having the ability to customize your own agent site. From here, we're gonna dive into adding pages or editing pages as we just saw on your agent site. We'll talk about creating some one-off landing pages. Uh, we'll talk about uh, guide builder. We're gonna do some testimonial capture and testimonial publishing, so you'll get to see that. Uh, we'll talk about collections and then some additional settings, things that you can do inside of site and app settings. So stay tuned for all of that. As always, great talking to you guys. I look forward to talking to you again real soon.